Can you explain why and how we can call it a jet kayak and, yeah. and how we get to this? Like, I mean, you guys video or anybody's video from iCast, you can see the motor mm -hmm. removed and you can see it being taken apart, the simplicity of it. Uh, but I don't know. How does this happen? How? Basically, what we did is we just typically with a jet drive, right? You've got a pump on the, on the bottom of the boat and you've got an engine inside of the boat and a drive shaft that spins the impeller inside the pump. What we did was build it all into one thing. So there's no drive shaft anymore. There's no seals anymore. There's no vibration. There's none of that stuff. The motor's literally just built into the drive unit. And then that whole drive unit, you pull out four screws and the whole thing just drops out the bottom. So we, we really have a big focus on serviceability. The whole drive's mm -hmm. easy to pull part it's really easy to service there's very few parts to it we can actually manufacture the drive for less than the cost of you know any pedal drive out. just sheer the number of parts you know like and the parts have to be in a pedal drive is significant like there's a lot of on those arms and stuff so you got to make it out of you know, mostly i think they're all metal they are expensive those tools are having done the products that we've done we were the first ones to ever build an injection molded jet pump you know that was running for the last 10 years we have a lot of experience on that side of being able to produce a pump super inexpensively you know these components that were it's really easy the cost is massive on the front end but once you get the parts right i mean you can just things out and you end up with a superior propulsion system at the end of the day but yeah the shallow draft and then we put a ton of time into the intake i think i probably had as much time just designing the intake system and the cfd yeah. for that as i did getting the drive into this boat so now just you're try talking about where what because the way this this type of motor water has to go through it right it's not like for for anybody listening you know imagine a cylinder piece cylinder with components on the inside that the only way it works is when water is traveling into it right and so that's what he's talking about there's a just like an air intake on a car because you need air for your car right you have a grill imagine the grill at the bottom of the kayak and that's where the water gets in and that's how you essentially power what well, a way that you move using the motor Paul is an excellent translator for my nerd speak. Thank you, sir. <laughs>